Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the owner of CMS Law Firm, and this is building my $10 million law firm. It is September 8th, Friday, 2023, and um, it's just been another day. You know, we did my coaching call today, I'm gonna do some, some uh, videos kind of off some of the things that we talked about there. Those coaching calls are always great. Broke the news to my group though that we're not doing any more live meetings. Not that you guys care. Typically we do a, a live uh, quarterly meetup and it's not raw, raw. I don't bring speakers in. We sit down, we grind in our businesses and we get things done. And the people that come, they do great things, but you know, just can't get enough people to come. So I say, hey, if you're not interested, I ain't gonna do it. I got other stuff to do. So that is, uh, that's one thing that happened today that I was trying to kind of put off. Somebody asked me about when the next one was gonna be and I, I had to tell them, look, sorry. So, uh, you know, we're gonna do, we're still gonna do a virtual uh, quarterly sort of meeting, dive deep dive for people. Um, what we normally do with those is basically I just dig into to people one at a time, find out where you're trying to go, what you're trying to do, what's been working, what's not, and then lay out a plan for the next quarter so that you can go and move forward, make strides. So that's what we've been doing there. So that was cool and that was fun. The weekly meetings are always great, always great questions. Um, and then I, I really just ended up grinding, not grinding, you know, I, didn't, I don't mind it, um, over systems processes procedures you know i have <clears throat> two people that answer the phones for me full time but the phones don't ring all the time so i'm trying to uh, incorporate them into some of the other things that we do new client onboarding client communication uh, i worked with my phone service to try to get the freaking text messages to work so just did a bunch of that stuff today uh really literally the whole day got a lot done everything is is pretty dang tight uh, which is nice. But uh, for me, those systems make things run smoothly. They help people act confidently with what they're doing. And, you know, um, it, it just, it makes things run smoothly. I mean, that's the, that's the best way that I can say it. So if you're not working on systems, I would highly encourage you uh, to work on those. And then you just deploy them. So when things happen, people know what they're supposed to do. To give you a little bit of back, back end, um, everything right now runs through Ruby. Ruby is not a real person. Uh, Ruby is just an email address that I created, but everything gets emailed, everything gets sent into Ruby to start, fee agreements, questionnaires, everything. And then they get automatically sent other places via email filters and things like that, depending on what's in the subject line, if there are attachments, things like that. And they get to the right people and then they can get handled. So when it comes to um, those kinds of systems and things like that, you just got to put the work in and that's what I did. And, and often when I get in there, I see some things that need to be tweaked. I see some things that need to be updated. So I did that again, just trying to make it easier for everybody, trying to provide ultimate clarity so that people can do things confidently, they get done right. And that, that's just it. So the other thing, you know, you talk about twists and turns. That's kind of part of why I wanted to, um, why I created this series in the, in the beginning. So you can just see what I'm doing on a daily basis, but also, just really experience the way that this happens, you know, when you when you own a business. Um, so one of the people on my team uh, took the bar exam, was uh, at the time of the bar exam, having to deal with some things. You're not gonna give any more context because I just, you know, I don't want to. But they ended up failing the bar exam. They got the results today by two points, two measly points. And I know it wasn't effort, I know it wasn't, um, smarts you know i know it wasn't any of those things it was literally the this thing that was going on and so uh i guess you can appeal the decision so you can have people take a look at it and see if you can grind out those two points and get a pass but you know i was planning on having that that person step in and and be an attorney so we gotta we gotta figure out and uh sort of um pivot a little bit not away from them they're still definitely a part of the team and if this appeal doesn't work out, they'll just take the bar exam again in February, pass. I'm 100% confident and then and then step right back in. But that does kind of affect my plans to be able to step out of the business as, as, a, as a lawyer a little bit, you know, to stop taking as many calls and do all that kind of stuff. That kind of throws a wrinkle in that. So all I did was I sat down, thought about it for a little bit, came up with a plan of action, and we're gonna execute on that plan of action. Basically, I'm gonna hire, hire another attorney to come in and fill in at one of the other offices like sooner rather than later. And then uh, that person is going to be able to alleviate some of the work that I would be doing as an attorney. And sort of we're still kind of in the, basically in the same place. 
and moving forward. So, you know, things don't always go exactly the way that you want. That's life. You got to just take what you got, uh, you know, make the best of it and keep moving forward. But, you know, if you find people that are good, that are, are, are smart, hardworking and, you know, good, uh, good teammates, then you kind of want to try to keep them on. So that, that happened today, which is a little disappointing for them it, it, more than anything else, you know, because um, that just that just sucks to have that kind of timing and have things get in the way. So uh, that was it. So that's the day. Now we're going to uh, watch the Kansas Jayhawks defeat the Illinois Fighting Illini. So hopefully that's going to happen. And uh, then we're off into the weekend. So hopefully you uh, all had a great day, a great week, a great everything. And uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. All right. See ya.